All right, boys and girls, welcome to Garland Guitar. We have Wish Wednesday, all right? It's a beautiful Wednesday. When you wish for songs, and I bring them up for you on this specific day. And this time we have you, Sila Gunir. I'm not sure if that is the right pronunciation. You asked for Jaden's How Far, and that's what you're gonna get. So, hope you will enjoy it, and all you Jaden fans, How Far. This is where we learn that song. So uh, make sure you subscribe to Gordon Guitar and let's go. We're going to look at this song here with the capo set on the fourth position. That's the absolute best scenario for us. So capo on fourth fret. And with that, we have a couple chords to go over. I believe there are five different chords. So uh, yeah, let's start with the chords. And we gotta look at the C major seven. Normally I use these two fingers, my ring finger and my mid finger for the C major seven. But now I'm gonna use the mid and my index, all right? So uh, there are reasons, I'm gonna come to that soon. But anyway, first we had a third fret A string with my mid finger and second fret D string with my index finger. And then open G, open B and open E. That's the C major 7. The next chord is the G uh, major 13. Okay, so it goes like this. A little bit different of chord here, but anyway. And the reason for me having the C major with these fingers is because in this G major 13 here, you're just gonna move up these two fingers, one string up and then add on the fourth fret D string with my ring finger. So that gives us third fret on E, second on A, fourth on D, then open G, open B, and open E. And for this specific chord here, I try to avoid the last E string down here. I play basically on the bass and mid area. Okay, so that is the G chord. Over now to the A minor. That is played open A, second D, second G, first B, and open E. We have an E minor as well. And that goes open E, second A, second D, open G, open B, and open E. And the final chord will be D. And that will be open D, second G, third B, and second E. All right, so there we have the five chords, C major, the G uh, 13 chord, the A minor, E minor, and D. Now, let's go into the strumming and learn that. So it's a pretty long one. We're gonna split it in two parts. We're not gonna split it then when it comes to the playing, but just for learning purposes, it will be easier. So um, we're gonna start with the C major chord. That's the first chord of the song. And the first half will be down, 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 up. So three downs and then down up. That's the first half. And then the second half will be up, down, 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 up. Up, down, 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 up. So if you combine these two parts, it will be down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. Couple rounds. Okay, so uh, yeah, there we have the strumming. And remember, we had the G chord like this. And the reason for me having the specific fingers I mentioned is because we're gonna do a lot of switches between the C major and the G major chord, all right? So we're gonna go and work like this a lot in this song, all right? So the verse starts with C major, two string rounds, and then the G major, two string rounds. And that's it. You're gonna go back and forth for two times, okay? So. C2, G2, C2, G2. That's the first verse. We're going to learn that and play. All 
right, so that's the first verse over now to pre-course. Now we're gonna play and continue the strumming with A minor, two rounds of that, then E minor, one round, and then D, you're gonna play just the first three downs, okay? So down, 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 and then a big pause, and that pause leads us to the chorus. So that means we're gonna play only that round of A minor two, E minor one, and three downs on D, like this. pre-course. Okay, so into the chorus now, and the lyrics, how far is too far? That's a good, good question there, and we're gonna play that in the exact same way as we play the verse, which means the C major for two string rounds, and the G for two string rounds, and you're gonna do that chord progression or that switch for two times, okay? So basically a new verse in this chorus part, and that goes... simple guys and basically there are no news to this song more than this because uh, it continues with an instrumental part right after this chorus you're gonna play another round of C major for two string rounds and the G for two string rounds one round of that and then back to the second round of everything the second verse is playing the exact same way the only difference here is it's only for one round so you're just gonna play the C major 2 and the G major 2 and that's it into the second pre-chorus differs a little bit when it comes to the playing you're gonna play the a minor two string rounds e minor one string round and the d now you're gonna play for one full strumming round not only the three downs okay so one full on d a minor two e minor one and d one that's the second pre-chorus and the second chorus play in exact same way and then after the second chorus we have the outro part uh, left and that's the final thing happening in this song guess what you're gonna play the c major for two string rounds the g for two string rounds and you do that for two rounds and with that two rounds you have finished Jaden's how far so uh yeah hope you love this silla gunier or something like that this was special for you you brought it up here in growing guitar but also for all of you Jaden fans so if you happen to love Jaden and uh, perhaps the content here in growing guitar consider subscribe to this channel it helps me a lot and gives me motivation to go on so thank you so much for your support and until next time play tuned <laughs> <laughs>